Welcome to tutorial number 152. This tutorial will be a practical example where we put in which we learned before together in this example. We will review the base flange and the edge flange. We will bend this sheet steel perfectly on this wooden core. Start a new part file and then start a sketch on the front plane. Let's start making the wooden cube. Select center point rectangle, give it some dimension. Extrude it to 50 millimeter. And then extrude the surface, the top surface, another 50 millimeter. Select, start sketch, convert entity, extrude 50 with an angle of 30 degrees. Click OK. Let's add some fillet. Select one edge and then select the whole edges over here with a radius of one millimeter. So this is the wooden core. I'll just change the appearance. Now let's make a base flange on the bottom of this block. Click sketch, normal to center rectangle. Make sure to pick the inside edge. Make it for construction. Okay, make another one. Vertically inside edge for construction. Add equal relation to the edges. And assign some dimension. Give this one twenty. And then you will have the construction fully defined. Pick line and select the corners. Of these rectangles. This is the shape of the, the base sheet or base flange. Go to the sheet meter, base flange, and you'll have the sheet. Make the thickness to be one millimeter, reverse direction, and without checking the merge result, because this will be a sheet. The K factor will be 0.4. And now let's see how to make edge flange that are perfectly bended on this wooden core. Go to the edge flange, select the edge, this edge, select second side, third side, and for side. Now let's go have a closer look at the edge. Now you will see 
the bended steel is overlapping over the core. This overlap, in case there you are bending this sheet of steel without any help or without anything, but we're going to override this value because we have this wooden core as a helping core for bending the bend radius to one millimeter. And you see you have the bend radius is on the wooden core. And you can check as well on the other side you will notice all this side are perfectly matching. So now how to extend this edge to the to this edge over here as we learn go to the flange length and select up to vertex and select this point you will notice that the edge flange is perfectly matching that edge when you are done click OK and one thing before closing you might have this selected and this is overlapping you can take the bend outside click OK go to edge flange select the edge then you will have an option for the edge flange angle select face go to the face and select the face and then to make the exact length go to the bend up to vertex and select this point let's check that bending is correct so you will notice here the bending is wrong. So you go again here to the flange position, select bend outside, and you will see again that the bending is not perfectly matching the edge. You can override the bend radius to be one millimeter, and you will have the bend is matching the edge. When you are done, you can select the rest of the edges. When you are done, click OK. You might get this not correctly showing. You can just edit the feature and check that it's up to vertex and go again and it will be corrected. And now time for the last bending and this one will be easier. Go to the edge flange, select the edge, extrude it, or push flange length, make it 10 millimeter, and check it is correctly bended. If not, you adjust the angle or select face, and select this face and for the radius override one millimeter. When you are done, select the rest of the edges.
Okay. So now we have this piece of sheet metal perfectly bended on that wooden core. And these are two separated bodies. You can notice them over here, over the cut list. So now let's try to flatten that. And here you have, go to the first extrude, show, and you will see the wooden core inside. And unflatten or bend it again. And one last thing I would like to show. Let's edit the last bended edge over here with the edge flange. Edit flange length to 20 millimeter. You will notice the edges good trim it automatically. And we can edit the gap as we learn. We can make it 2 millimeter. Or zero or keep it one okay